Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice distance of equation without x squared plus y squared equals to 61 and x y equals x minus y equals to 11. Let's divide this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Here we are finding the value of x and y. Now from equation 2 here we have x minus y equals to 11. Now let's take minus y here and uh, this become x equals to 11 plus y from here. So let this be equation 3. Now from equation 1, what we have is x squared plus y squared equals to 61. Now let's substitute equation 2 back here in equation 1. So here we replace x as 11 plus y. So we have 11 plus y now square then plus y square to be equals to 61 from here then the expansion here same thing as 11 square plus 2 times 11 times y then plus y square that's the expansion for this then plus this y square here which is equals to 61 to complete the equation there. Then from here, 11 squared that's 121. Then plus 2 times 11 times y that's 22 y. Then plus y squared plus y squared that's 2 y squared, which is equals to 61 from here. Then let's rearrange this equation and bring 61 also to this side. So we have 2 y squared plus 22 y then plus 121 then minus 61 to be equals to 0 from here then next we subtract this we have 2 y square now plus 22 y plus 60 here to then be equals to 0 now we can reduce this equation and divide 2 by 2 so when we divide 2 by 2 from here, we are going to have y square left here, then plus 11y left here, then plus 30, 30 here, which is equal to 0 here. Then from here, this quadratic equation can be factorized. That is the factors of 30 that will give us 11, this will be 6 and 5. So we now see this is y square plus 6y plus 5y then plus 30 now equals to 0 from here so what is common between these two here we have y common then we have y plus 6 left then plus 5 is common here we have 5 out then y plus 6 left which is equals to 0 so y plus 6 now common we have y plus 6 then y plus 5 left here which is equals to 0 then from here two cases we have our y plus 6 equals to 0 or we have 5 y plus you know 5 equals to 0 so here we have y equals to minus 6 now and then here we have y equals to minus 5. Now to get the corresponding values of x, we use the equation 3 and then we have x equals to 11 plus y. So we bring that here so as to get the value of x. Then from there we have x equals to 11 plus y. So let this be y1. So for x1 now, that will be 11 plus y1, that's 11 minus 6. So x1 here now will be equals to 5. Then to get x on this side, let this be y2. To get x2, so x2 as well will be 11 plus, you know, y2. That will be 11 minus 5 here. So x2 here now will be equals to 6. Then the solutions to this problem now will be the first one we have 
x1 comma y1 you then give us x1 here is 5 y1 here is minus 6 so we have 5 comma minus 6 then we have x2 comma y2 then this give us x2 that 6 then y2 we have minus 5 so we have these two states of solution here then here we can quickly check if the solution satisfies the given a problem from here we have from equation 1 we have x squared plus y squared equals to 61 and let's pick the first set of solution which is 5 comma minus 6 so if we test with this one so in the equation 1 we have 5 squared now plus minus 6 squared will it give us will that give us 61 from there so now when we see from here 5 squared is 25 then plus minus square that's plus 6 square that's 36 is this equals to 61 from here so when we have this this is your first 61 this is equals to 61 left hand side equals to right hand side so now if we put this in equation 2 as well we have x which is 5 so 5 minus you know y y is minus 6 that's minus 6 is it equals to 11 from here then this is 5 plus 6 now is it equals to 11 from here then 5 plus 6 is 11 which is equal to 11. Left hand side equals to right hand side as well. Then the first solution here satisfies the given problem. Now, when we test for the second one too, we discover that it also satisfies the given problem. And uh, we can please, you know, do that to check if it satisfies the problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Give the thumbs up, share this video, and put your comments in the comment section. See you in the next class. Bye for now.